So the next, uh, the next spotlight is by Lakshmi Gupta uh, on iterative learning to make the most of unlabeled uh, data and quickly obtain a labeled data in histology. Uh, hi, I'm Lakshmi. Uh, and my interest is in kidney histopathology. The image you see on the left, uh, so I think my previous speaker already introduced you to this. What we see on the left is uh, kidney tissue. And I'm trying to segment uh, glomerularly these uh, uh, circled in red objects that you see. Now, as you can imagine that this kidney t uh, tissue image is really high resolution and such small objects to be marked, it takes a lot of annotation time, which by now we are all familiar with. Oh, okay. I should be able to move to the next slide, which, okay, okay. So uh, recently I came across this paper called Simple Does It, and they have, uh, as the name suggests, quite a simple approach uh, to, uh, to work with quickly obtainable data what they are doing is they are working directly with bounding boxes. And they show that um, already after the first um, training round, the segmentation obtained by training with bounding boxes is really much closer to the ground truth. And if you apply this iteratively, uh, the result, the segmentation result can really get uh, much closer to the ground truth, although we didn't uh, need perfect annotations now, my task is to work on histopathology, and as you can see here, it's, um, this image is not really as similar to natural images, and the um, objects of interest are quite similar to the background. So, of course, to work even with bounding boxes, this is going to be a bit more tricky. However, I try, and what I am trying to do is um, in a two-stage approach. So, first is the weekly supervised approach, which is what I just presented, that we are working with bounding boxes, we do an iterative um, training. And of course, as you see, I have to add some cues to improve the training at every iteration. I'm not giving too much detail about the method right now. You can, of course, talk to me uh, later, we can discuss. Uh, and I also notice another very important limitation. Uh, what we have generally is a lot of uh, images, a lot of data is available, but since it's not labeled, it is not really useful for us. So I try to take the rough annotations, the uh, rough segmentation that I obtained from the weekly supervised uh, stage and use that to create these um, labels for, un uh, for completely unlabeled data and proceed in a completely unsupervised way. And although in the first stage I do not get um, very impressive results, but after immediately uh, applying that to in an unsupervised way, I do achieve comparable results as fully supervised uh, approach. And so I'm not presenting the results here. I welcome you to talk to me anytime and we can have a discussion. So yeah, thank you.